Have you ever come across a thumbnail that looks like this, where there's a person in front of text and it's overlapping and you're not sure how in the world they do this? Well, I love this look and I've recently started to incorporate it in my own thumbnails. And in this video, if you've ever been curious as to how they actually do this, then keep on watching because in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this overlapping text in Canva and you can do it for your thumbnails and any of your social media graphics. So if you want to know how to do this, then keep on watching. And as you can see, I've already started using this format because I think it's so, so cool. Well, obviously, if you want to follow along, you're going to need a Canva account. Personally, I have a Canva Pro account. And if you need a Canva Pro account, I will have that linked for you right below in the description box. But you can tinker around and see if you can do it with the free version. So what you want to do is you want to go and click on create a design and you want to go to YouTube thumbnail. Now, if it's not there, just in case, because sometimes the Canva starts to learn the things that you do most often when you're in Canva, then just go ahead and put a uh, YouTube thumbnail or yeah, thumbnail or YouTube thumbnail and it'll appear. So we're going to do YouTube thumbnail. So now we're inside the thumbnail template area and here is the infamous design. Now there was another one here. Here's another one. See how they overlap, but, and this one too, but we're going to use this one because I'm going to show you the secret magic that's going on here to make this girl overlap with the text behind her. So what it is, and honestly, I had a feeling I knew what it was, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's how to do it. So what they're actually doing is there is a full photo of this girl as the background, but they have a little version of her right in the front that overlaps with this text. That way it looks like she is overlapping that text. So I'm going to show you how you can do this yourself. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click add a page and let me just re remove that, you know, background color. And I am going to upload one of my own pictures. So I am going to upload this one and then I'm just going to stretch it out to make sure that it fills up the entire canvas. Okay. And next, what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this photo because I need my original photo to cover the entire background and then I'm going to click on my photo and I'm going to duplicate it and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit image and I'm going to click on the background remover so now I have one complete photo in the background and then I have the one with my clear background in the front okay so now what we need to do is we need a sandwich in that text in between the original photo and the uh, photo without the background, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I am gonna duplicate this, duplicate it here, okay? And then I'm just gonna bring it down here. So now you see, okay, well, the, the uh, text is over the photo. So now what I need to do is I need to change the positioning of the clear photo. So I'm gonna click on position and I'm gonna click forward and that is it. Now here you'll see that they're not in complete alignment. You see that you can see the background photo. So what we want to do is we want to make it look seamless. So I am going to make my front photo bigger. But before I'm done, you'll see how I have like two thumbs here. So you want to make sure they're in alignment. But what we want to do is add one little finishing touch that I like to add. And that is I like to go to add a shadow. So I'm going to go to shadows. I'm going to click on drop. And now you see that I have a drop shadow behind me to give it a little bit more depth. So what I'm going to do is I want to stretch my photo out. Okay. So that I'm covering the original one. And now I've got this cool, very subtle drop shadow that makes it look like I'm literally overlapping that text that's behind me. So then the last thing you want to do is you want to download it. So you're going to click on download and you can download it as a PNG or you can download it as a JPG. We're just going to download it as a PNG. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and unclick this one so that it only downloads this one. So just select the page that you want to download, click on done, click on download, and it's going to do its thing. And then we're going to see the final picture. So we're going to just call this overlapping text thumbnail and we're going to open it up and boom, there it is. Pretty cool, right? 
All right, well, hopefully this tutorial helped you. If it did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more tips, tutorials, and training to support you in building your digital business online. So with that being said, this has been Barbie Figueroa. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on another video. Bye for now.